something very strange is happening to meta ads what used to work a year ago doesn't work anymore we have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on meta ads and what works on meta ads always keeps changing but this time it's very drastic now look at these ads they look like a post in a facebook group raw and very low production quality and you might be wondering why are these people even running these ads why are they wasting their money on this bad creative right but the thing is they actually work they outperform all the polished creators we used to have on meta ads and i have proof and i am going to show you that these ads are called ugly ads and i have spent $2000 for a test just to show you the results but before that how did we get here until 2018 the rule to create meta ads was pretty simple polished creative high production quality studio shots and emphasis on branding creative cannot have more than 20% of the space occupied by text these type of creatives were directly rejected or the advertisers were penalized by limiting the reach of such creatives after 2018 there was a drastic shift towards video creative Video creative became new thing and started to outperform the static banners. But until 2020, the rules of the aesthetics stayed the same for video, high production quality with strong emphasis on branding. And for a while, we all advertisers started to think that static creatives are soon going to be a thing of the past. And then came the TikTok era, which changed the game completely. The recipe for such video ads was still simple: keep it authentic. aka ugc style videos and follow a particular syntax a very strong hook experiment multiple hooks then a body and some twists in the body so basically with this change what happened is the ad started to look like the native content if you wanted to run good ads on meta or instagram reels the ads need to feel like instagram reels and same thing for tiktok everyone was understanding this everyone started to become comfortable and happy and then came 2025 in 2025 nothing matters when it comes to campaign performance your bid strategy your placement strategy your targeting strategy audience testing campaign structure it's all absorbed by ai what is left is creative and messaging and that's the only thing that matters now so the recipe for a successful meta ads campaign in 2025 is select the right objective use broad targeting upload creatives regularly every week every 3 days and that's it your campaign performance will just depend on the type of ads you are uploading actually creative has become the new targeting your creative selects who the right audience for that creative is in the last 6 months we tested hundreds of creatives across different industries different clients and what we learned in these 6 months is the only campaign parameter that decides the performance outliers is the ad creative itself only one in every 10 ads was a performance outlier which gives you an idea that if you want to have winning ads every week how many creatives you will have to create every week it's very easy to understand what is working now but it's very difficult to understand why and a lot of people like to blame meta ads algorithm for this but i don't think it's fair because algorithm is driven by audience the people their preferences what kind of ads they engage with what kind of ads grabs their attention before i show you the actual results of our campaigns to demonstrate what kind of creatives work in 2025 and show you the framework how we develop these creatives in 10 minutes i want to first recommend an amazing ebook called marketer's guide to meta you can download the ebook completely for free from the link in the description below it's a perfect guide for beginners to learn the fundamentals about marketing on meta and has a dedicated section on meta advertising even if you are an expert you can still learn some insider and battle tested strategies that work on meta in 2025 whether you're struggling to get traction on your facebook and instagram or you're aiming to take your social presence to the next level this guide will connect you straight to the pulse of effective marketing on meta it starts with absolute basics like meta 101 but has some latest metrics every marketer should know then it dives into choosing the right strategy for community and content for your brand with expert tips for every step you also get a step by step framework to develop a meta ad strategy for your business and what to consider my favorite part in this ebook is the last section which talks about measurement of performance for a growth mindset you get a clarity on how to prioritize different metrics for your organic marketing and paid marketing separately and this guide is created by hubspot media who is also sponsoring this video so click on the link in the description below and get your free copy now and this leads us to our next chapter which is the era of ugly ads so to 
show you what ugly ads mean. Uh, this is our ad manager account and this is one of our campaigns for which I basically did this test as well. So this is a campaign where we are promoting our courses for course sales. We have spent 8,300 dirhams so far, which is like more than $2,000. And if you look at the campaign structure for every course, we have a different ad set. For example, Google Ads, there's a separate ad set with its own creatives. Like some of them have 60, 56. So let's see this one, complete programmatic ads. Now, if you see here, just to give you an idea, the ad set is doing really great. The course sells for 300 dirhams and the cost per sale overall we have is 40, which is like 8x ROAS, which is really good. And before we only tested video creators in this one and the best performing video was this one, which is this, uh, generating an average of 36 dirhams. Some of the videos were expensive. That's why the average is like 40. And uh, after we had this video live for a while, then we tested these image creators, these ugly looking image creators. First look at the video to get an idea. Three digital marketing skills in 2025 that are most in demand and are top paid. my credentials my profile and you can also watch some preview videos for free so see you there after the video we uploaded these image creators the ugly ones which don't have as much spend so for example the best among the uh, image ones is this one generated 10 sales and which has like 21 dirhams cost per uh, purchase which is like half of this one and if you look at this creator you will understand what i mean if you see here it's very straightforward <coughs> very ugly looking creative bad design less than one percent digital marketers know programmatic advertising and there's we haven't even used shadows look at the color look at the elements how they're arranged it's such a bad creative in terms of design and we got so many comments people saying please remove this creative this is a very bad design and other uh, such designs but among all our campaigns all clients all ad sets we have seen the same trends this one has been generating a ROAS of 15x which is crazy. So the most surprising thing for me is the creative that does not even follow the basic design principles is outperforming all the polished creative. And you literally have to make a choice whether you follow some design principles and marketing principles or you just want your performance. Since we have been promoting creatives like this, we have got a lot of comments from our followers are like, uh, this is a bad creative. Please uh, update your creatives. But their performance is twice as good. This particular creative has been generating a ROAS of 9 to 10. Even Meta as a company has admitted this. If you look at one of the recent meta blogs uh, titled perfection fatigue millennials and gen z's want lo-fi mobile short video and they call it lo-fi content but i call it the ugly creative with meta admitting that it has become kind of an obvious choice to test these but they're not providing any framework how to create this but that's anyways our job to do how do we design these ugly ads one disclaimer i would like to give you before i show you my framework is a lot of clients who are traditional marketers might laugh at you when you show them these kind of ads until they realize that this is what works in 2025 fortunately or unfortunately so the framework or process i follow to create such ads is basically two different steps now think of the product or service you're promoting or talk to someone about it and what are the first few lines that come to your mind that is your creative messaging step number two design a creative in two to five minutes thinking that okay this is the rough design i'm going to actually send it to the designer and they will actually work on the finish and adding design and all those aspects the creative but whatever you come up with in two to five minutes that's your actual creative now let me show you some more examples which worked for us in the last one month i can't unfortunately show you ads from the clients but i'll show you from our own company so this is one ad that worked which is do you know the only way to learn google ads is from a structured course look at this bad design just text 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 but strong lines look at this one this one i was really surprised on when when somebody showed it to me i was like no it's not going to work and look at this one a man once uh, was trying to learn google ads from one hour tutorials on youtube archive google ads joke library these are the type of creators that are working look at this this is the worst design that can happen less than one percent digital marketers use ai in marketing 99 percent are just overwhelmed so in short these platforms have been keeping us all performance marketers on toes and now i think we have to be on our toes all the time but that's the fun honestly to be on the toes to understand what works and then make money for your clients or your own company it is a different kind of kick and that's all for this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one